Well, it is a new day in American politics. A political storm hit the USA overnight. A leaked draft opinion suggests that the US Supreme Court is poised to overturn a landmark 1973 ruling that legalized abortion throughout the United States. The bombshell draft was obtained and authenticated by the website Politico. It suggests that the country's top court is poised to overturn Roe v. Wade, the ruling that has protected women's constitutional rights to seek abortion. The draft could change, but if the ruling is handed down in its current form in a couple of months' time, it would be left to individual states to determine whether abortion is legal or not on their own territory. It would create two Americas, states mostly in the north where abortion will remain legal and states mostly in the south where it will not. The draft opinion is dated February the 10th. It was written by Justice Samuel Alito, but backed by the four other Republican appointed justices on the nine member court. The 98 page document slams the landmark Roe v. Wade decision, saying it was wrongly decided. This draft may not be a final opinion. Justices have previously changed their views as the drafting process advances. The final decision isn't expected until late June. Votes and language can change before opinions are formally released. Roe v. Wade is a landmark decision by the US Supreme Court that guaranteed the rights of women to an abortion from coast to coast until the fetus is viable outside the womb. That's around 22 weeks into a pregnancy. Abortion rights advocates have long called on Congress to enshrine the right to abortion in federal law in order to protect it from any possible reversal by the Supreme Court. Because if the High Court overturns the decision, every state will be free to set their own rules. At least 13 states have already passed so-called trigger laws that will automatically ban abortion if Roe is overturned this summer. A number of others would be likely to pass similar laws very quickly. And some 36 million women could then lose abortion access. Now, all of this has set off immediate condemnation and calls for action from leading liberal activists, medical groups and Democratic leaders in Congress who called the draft an abomination. Just hours after the reports emerged, scores of protesters began to assemble outside the U.S. Supreme Court. The mood outside the building was a mix of anger and mourning. Some demonstrators were seen sitting silently in front of long lines of candles, while others formed a roving circle, shouting defiant chants about the news. Abortion is a lightning rod in American society and across the country's political spectrum. The ruling could come just weeks before crucial congressional midterm elections here and would represent a tectonic change in American society. To dig more into this, our correspondent Susan Terrani is joining us live from New York City. Susan, a lot of passion up there outside the Supreme Court uh, last night and possibly in the days and weeks ahead. We keep calling this a bombshell, but I mean, it was to be expected, right? Given the fact that the Republican nominated and appointed justices on the Supreme Court are absolutely now in the majority there.
In terms of the decision, absolutely, Simon. But on the other hand, this is really an unprecedented development when it comes to an institution like the Supreme Court and this leak from the Supreme Court here in the United States. It's an unprecedented breach, um, despite the fact that this draft can change. It's a grave assault on the Supreme Court. Uh, really, um, this is an attempt to influence the outcome, to influence the Supreme uh, court judges and now you have really nine Supreme Court justices and there are questions about trust among them and some are arguing that this was really an attempt to create that sort of atmosphere of mistrust in the Supreme Court because it's not yet clear who leaked this document while well, you know leaking documents has has been prevalent maybe in other uh, institutions, you know, the Supreme Court really has been working in an environment of secrecy and something like this has not been happening uh, and has not really happened. So in that case, uh, really, uh, I think you can attribute the shell uh, aspect of it in that case. But you're absolutely right. Even former President Trump noted that, you know, when we do appoint conservative justices to the Supreme Court, one day we may see, uh, see uh, Roe versus Wade being overturned. That was something that perhaps the Democrats really didn't think would be possible uh, after uh, decades of it being uh, installed and instilled in American politics. But, uh, you know, here we are. And Susan, this really does further reveal the two Americas that are very uncomfortably coexisting uh, at the moment on a whole variety of different issues. But which side uh, sees its supporters more galvanized by this news? We saw those scenes uh, of Democrat supporters besieging the U.S. Supreme Court last night. But equally, Republicans are going to be absolutely galvanized by this at the grassroots because they fought for decades for this moment. So as we head to midterm elections, does either side benefit from this or will the passions that are inflamed simply cancel one another out when election day arrives? It's, it's a very nuanced issue. You know, at the onset of it, this leak was really being portrayed as uh, being a democratic uh, ploy. But if you look at uh, the issue of abortion historically, even single issue voters on the Republican side, um, the issue of abortion has always been on the forefront uh, of their um, concerns. So um, while abortion has really brought Republicans to the voting polls for uh, decades, uh, it really hadn't been an issue for Democrats and perhaps this leak uh, although you know as you mentioned it's a draft it might change but just the fact that this leak came so close to the midterms this might change the perception for the Democrats and the Democrats now uh, might think that um, you know the option for voters right now is that if they don't go to the polls then they have this extreme right uh, that will come to power and take their uh, rights away, despite the fact that even if the mm, abortion laws go to the states, states can decide for themselves. For example, California and New York can continue to um, have legally uh, have abortion be legal in their states. But regardless of that, you know, this may really abortion may become uh, a very important issue for the Democrats, whereas before, you know, because they had Roe v. Wade uh, in the Supreme Court, they really didn't think about it. They thought that they had already won, while for the Republicans, it was really even a single voter issue. It was very important, and this really might change in the midterms. But as you mentioned, no, because this is a draft and because uh, the Republicans really want to see this really go through, that it might fire their base up as well. Yes, it's a very important issue. going to be a long, hot summer. Uh, and let's see what President Biden has to say. He'll be leaving the White House in about an hour to head to Alabama, where he's due to tour a factory where they manufacture Javelin anti-tank uh, missiles. Quite possible uh, that he will address this issue as he leaves the White House. Susan Tehrani, Weon's correspondent, live for us in New York City. Thanks very much for that.